So the latest reporting that we've seen and, and what we've seen in the, uh, the warrant applications for search warrants involved with this case, uh, it sounds like what happened was there, one, they were using live ammunition on the set. I mean, obviously, live ammunition was mixed in, which, again, we, we've established is probably the top mistake in all of this, that, that live not, ammunition not, was ever not, not mistake. M mistake is when you're calculating the restaurant and you forget to carry the one. Okay. This is an act of, of, of overt stupidity. Yes. Yes, certainly. But that so it sounds it sounds as though uh, the scene was set up to be using dummy ammunition. Right. So there's uh -huh. there's three, I guess, three main types of ammunition. Right. In this circumstance right. here, you got live ammunition, which is a fully live round that has the shell casing, the primer, the gunpowder and the bullet, the projectile all, right. all in one. And that's that's your when you go to the range and you shoot ammunition, that that's live ammunition that you're shooting. Right. Then you have blanks, which you have an example of. Uh, live end blanks uh, over there on your side of things. But blanks are basically uh, live ammunition with the bullet removed. There's no projectile. Right. Three out so, of four parts, primer, powder, and casing, but no bullet. Right. And that's that's used to simulate what gunfire looks like visibly on camera, right? Right. Because there are – now, there are other ways that you can do that with airsoft and again, guns CG. and CGI. Uh, yeah. And maybe that's appropriate in, in certain circumstances. Maybe it doesn't look as good on camera – you know, or it's more expensive, and that's why you still have a lot of people using. Uh, it doesn't look like and, anything on camera because you don't see it on camera. Right. It, it uh, but maybe the CGI is not doesn't yeah. really match up to what uh, yeah. a blank can give you. It matches it, yeah. up close enough that you know, if we can suspend disbelief for all the other things that are happening in a movie, we could do the same thing for the, you know, for the muzzle blast. Sure, but uh, the, the third type is is uh, a dummy round. Right. And, and so right. A dummy round dummy round right here. Yeah. That's okay. where the uh, you have a shell casing and you have a bullet, the projectile, but you don't have any gunpowder in there. So it, right. it does. It can't fire. That's the idea. Right. And you use that because if you're doing a shot, especially with a revolver, uh, like the one that you have there, the two that you have. Right. There, if you were to point a camera down the barrel of that revolver and you didn't have a dummy round and if you had blanks in there, it would look weird. It would look different. Right. You're, you're looking to see a bunch of these there. You're looking to see bullets down there. Right. You're not, not blank air. And that's why they use those. Right. For the visual effect. Now, it sounds like from what we've uh, what's been reported, what the police have said, that the gun was loaded with dummy rounds and a live round. And that's where you get to the point where it's it's harder to tell those two apart than it is a blank and a live round. Uh, except that there there should be visible indicators of a dummy round, like the removal of the primer or or a dimpled primer. Yeah, I, I, it should be I easy like to tell if you know primer. what you're looking for. Right. So I, I, I often use a spent primer, you know, and it looks different. Right. And now, so when you're a spent primer, you know, could have been the result of a misfire that on a second tap would then go off. True. So it's better to have no primer. Yeah, that's a good point. And, and I guess that's that gets into one point that I wanted to discuss a little bit with you uh, about, uh, I guess, standards on movie sets when it comes yeah. to armors and things like dummy rounds. Cause uh, I know with the, like the Brandon Lee shooting, uh, you know, back in the the nineties, yeah. one of the explanations for how that happened was that the armor on set made their own custom dummy rounds. Is that how it usually they works? It Is there, and like, how does that work? Out, the bullet stayed there and then they loaded a blank behind it. And then the blank fired the bullet. Right. And so you could you could see how that could happen. But I'm wondering, like, dummy rounds, do you usually yeah. buy those does, is, or do you make them yourself? Because it sounds like yeah, people kind of make, make them yourself. Myself. Yeah. You knock the primer out. I mean, you, you start with live ammo, you shoot it off, then you knock out the primer and then you see the bullet in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But BBs in it so that when you shake it, you know, those are the dummy rounds. OK, so you can have a, an audio. Uh, like an audible yeah, difference audible too. confirmation you shake it you hear the bb's bouncing around you know there's no gunpowder in there and there's no primer right and i guess but i guess that leads me to to like wonder about the standards for this kind of thing uh in that like if everybody's making their own dummy rounds it, you know it's just like reloads right where you don't right. necessarily know if it's quality reloads that you're getting right. and right. in this case maybe the dummy rounds weren't marked very well and so it wasn't that easy to tell the difference because you got a new armorer, 24 years old, only her second movie from what's been reported. 
right? Maybe, you know, maybe that also contributed to what happened here. Yeah, well, if you can't tell the difference between the dummy rounds and the live rounds, maybe you should assume that they're live rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, this goes back to the idea of like so many things had to have been done wrong for this to happen yeah. that it's, it's really kind of astounding. Yeah. It's a comedy of tragedies without the comedy.